In today's episode, we are transforming this old cabinet with some real 24 karat gold leaf. I picked this piece up for just £10 on Facebook Marketplace and now I'm going to give it a makeover. Let's take a closer look at this cabinet. The thing I loved most about this cabinet was this centre section. I'm not entirely sure what wood it is, but I think it might be mahogany or some sort of rosewood. If you think you know what wood it is, let me know in the comments below. Before I get too involved with this cabinet, it needs a little bit of woodwork. It's actually missing one of the pieces of skirting from the bottom of the piece. So we need to replace that. Does it take to be happy? How many times do you have to feel lonely before you get the chance to meet someone? Before you get to meet someone like you? How many songs can you write about heartbreak? So this has a little chamfer on it, which I don't have for my piece, so I'm just gonna sand that down to match. And after a little trial and error, this is how it fits. You wouldn't even know that it was new. Apparently when you add a new piece of trim to an old piece of trim, you're supposed to flatten the edge with a rounded piece of metal and that will help to just join them back together. Makes them look a bit more age worn and fills in that gap. It's a bit like sanding, but you're actually compressing the fibers together rather than removing them. Now that damage is all repaired, it's time to give it a good clean, ready for painting. Next up we need to address the lock, which is really damaged and there's some sort of handle that is missing and a lock plate that's been replaced, so we're going to fix all of that. Next is on to painting, and some of you might disagree with covering up this wood, because actually it's built from a really nice wood. But the problem is, is that the other wood, there's too much of it, and it's not in particularly great shape. So I think if I cover it over and really focus on making that centre panel special, that's going to make this whole piece sing. So I'm going to paint all of the outside with Fernie paint in Black Knight, but I am going to leave the top exposed. Paint is our new range of paint, which is low VOC and works brilliant on furniture pieces. I've literally been using it for years. Anytime you purchase it, it directly helps support us and our channel. If you're interested, head over to our website at 81vintage.co.uk. The front was generally in good condition, it just needed a good clean, so I used some 400 grit to just bring back that top layer of varnish and to polish it ready for a new layer of varnish. 
This piece has had a few handles in its lifetime and some of them have left behind some nasty holes. So I'm going to fill them with some filler, but I like to add just a little bit of PVA to my filler as I find that it helps it stick. Yes, I know I'm doing this technically in the wrong order, but I couldn't find my filler for the longest time and I was getting annoyed looking for it. So I decided to start the project and come back to it later once I finally found some. But it also needs a new lock plate. And for that, I'm going to be using this mold that I got from Timu. And I'm particularly obsessed with this one, which has a little gargoyle's face in it. I'm going to fill it with amazing casting resin that I got off Amazon and I am going to mix up equal parts A and B, pour it into the mould, let it sit for about 10 minutes and then it'll be ready to pop out. Then to cover over that white, I'm going to give it a coat of spray paint. I actually mixed up far too much resin than I needed but I've been obsessed with these moulds lately so I have been making more of them than I needed so I can add them to my stash. Once they were ready to be popped out, they came out absolutely beautiful. The only problem is, is that a hole for the key wasn't quite big enough on the one I wanted to use, so I had to make it larger with my Dremel. The next part is to seal up that wood and that paint job. So I'm going to brush on some satin ferny paint sealer. At this point my filler still wasn't set so I left it for a bit longer and just carried on. Later on once I'd, the, the filler had set I came back just sanded it off and touched up the area and that was much quicker for me to be able to move on with this project. Next it's time to move on to the gold leafing. I always thought gold leaf was really expensive but actually I got a hundred sheets on eBay for about five pounds and it's real 24 karat gold. I've only done this a few times before but I did buy this acrylic metal leaf size which made all the difference. You apply this where you want it, it goes on white and then dries clear and then you leave it for about 15 minutes then you can, once it's tacky, you can apply your gold onto it. Then let your gold sit and later on you can burnish it and bring it to a really nice shine. Seems like forever Since we've been together Did you see how steady that hand was? Went on like a dream. Let's see if we can do it on the rest. For this I alternated between using a brush and cotton ball to push in that gold into the size. I actually found the brush to be better in the end and I wasn't too worried about getting it absolutely perfect because the benefit of re using real gold leaf is that when you burnish it, which effectively means rubbing it with a cotton ball, it really rubs out a lot of those creases and makes them disappear. I 
There are lots of synthetic golds and gold paints on the market, but honestly, you do not get this true, true shine with anything other than real gold. You then want to remove all of the excess by burnishing it. This means using a cotton ball and rubbing off any of the excess and also trying to polish up that metal. You might need to do these two steps separately depending on how tacky your glue is. You want to hoover up the bits pretty quickly, otherwise you'll be finding them for years. Your heart, your eyes, her love. I'm also going to gold leaf this old handle that I had in my stash. I've only got one of them, but I think it's going to be perfect for this piece. The next thing I want to tackle is the lock. It doesn't work and it needs replacing. And this is how it's come out. I think it's a pretty regal transformation. Up, up, up in a painted cup, I will pour my love from a cloud above. So bright I can see the light. This centre panel is now the star the of the show. Tastes good to be drinking all of the honey sweet brew of ours. Up, up in a painted cup, right in the sky like a firefly. Like a firefly. I believe to believe is to feel the fire grow within. I believe to believe is to see how the present comes from dreams. Normally I would tell you my price for this piece. I think in my booth I'd be looking to charge around about £160 to £190 but I'm actually going to be trying to list this piece on Etsy instead. So I'll update you when I get a new price and uh, how I get on with that listing process. I am so pleased with it. I think it's done exactly what I wanted to. It's really elevated this piece with not a lot of expense and a new technique that I've learned. Let me know in the comments what you think about this furniture transformation and let me know what you think about trying gold leaf. Is it something that you're going to do? It's something that I'm going to carry on playing with on the channel so make sure you've hit that subscribe button to see more. I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me on this video and if there's anyone that you think might be interested in this project or any of my others please feel free to share this video with them. And if you want to see some more unique furniture transformations from me I'll leave a playlist just here. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next episode. Up, up, up in a painted cup, I will paraglide across the sky. Let flowers and tiny hearts shape in a line in the cup of ours.
so sweet like a honeybee can buzz around a honey tree. I pop in a painted cup, right in the sky like a firefly.